The Canary Island of Tenerife was shaken by a mysterious swarm earthquake. Are we witnessing the beginning of a volcanic eruption of Tida? Or is it all just not that serious? We will take a close look at it, so make sure to stay until the end. When volcanoes tremble, it's usually not a good sign. If you want to be informed about such exciting developments in the future, you will never miss a video again. Then go ahead and leave a subscription. Subscribing costs nothing. You'll never miss a video again. And you will help me immensely to reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. So now off to Tenerife. Alexander von Humboldt was already enthusiastic about the island and the volcano Tidy in 1799 and said after the ascent, last night I came back from the peak. What a sight, what a pleasure. Write to me and tell me if you have ever been to Tenerife and which place you like best there. I'm looking forward to your tips. The popular holiday island has now been plagued by a whole swarm of earthquakes. The Instituto Vulcanologico de Canarias, abbreviated as Vulcan, reported that the seismic network of the Canary Islands, on November 14th, a real earthquake dance has been recorded, specifically right under the famous Tidy Volcano. A total of 44 weak volcano tectonic quakes were registered, the strongest of which had a magnitude of 1.3. The tremors occurred at depths between 5 and 10 kilometers and were concentrated mainly in the southwest of the so-called caldera. Wait a minute, caldera. For those who are thinking of a Spanish sangria, a caldera is a collapse crater formed by the collapse of a volcano's magma chamber after an eruption. You can imagine it like a giant chocolate pudding, where the center sinks, only that the volcano is less tasty, but all the more dangerous. Mmm, chocolate pudding. That alone would be worrying enough, but it gets even worse. In addition to the volcanic tectonic quakes, more than 270 hybrid earthquakes were also recorded. Hybrid earthquakes may initially sound like something the EU would want to ban, but in reality, they are a fascinating volcanological phenomenon. Unlike typical earthquakes, which are caused by the breaking of rocks, these hybrid seismic events are directly related to the circulation of hydrothermal fluids in the interior of the volcano. Water, gas, and steam move through the interior of the volcano. If Tidy were a car, then scientists would currently be finding that the fluids are circulating wildly. And normally, that is not a particularly good sign for a car. But what does that mean for the future? Tenerife is and remains a volcanically active island. The probability of an eruption in the next 50 years is estimated to be nearly 40%. That sounds threatening at first, but it also means that the probability of no eruption is 60%. Personally, I tend to be an optimist and would therefore say that the glass is not half empty, only 40% filled with lava or something like that. But joking aside, let's take a look at what kind of volcano Tidy actually is. With a height of 3,715 meters, it is not only the highest mountain in Spain, but also the third highest island volcano in the world. Only Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa in Hawaii are higher. Taide is a stratovolcano, a layered volcano that is made up of many different lava layers. It took on its present form 170,000 years ago. At that time, Mammoth still roamed Germany and the Neanderthal man was king of the hill. Since then, Tidy has made itself heard from time to time, possibly even in 1492. That year, no less a figure than Christopher Columbus observed what could have been a volcanic eruption on Tenerife during his voyage to the New World. Columbus was probably not quite sure what he was seeing. Maybe he just drank too much sangria. Current seismic activity is mainly concentrated in the area of the Las Cañadas Caldera. This gigantic caldera measures 10 by 17 kilometers and was partially filled by the Tady volcano. How this caldera was formed is still a matter of dispute among geologists today. Some suspect that it was caused by a massive volcanic eruption. Others think that a gigantic landslide occurred here. Perhaps it was a combination of both. Whatever the reason, the Las Cañadas caldera is today the most volcanically active area of the island. I was in Tenerife and also in the Teda National Park at the beginning of 2023. Truly an incredibly impressive landscape that reminded me a bit of Mars. By the way, I don't know why I had my hair shaved so short back then. It won't happen again, I promise. Well, anyway. The current swarms of earthquakes are therefore a sign that Tida is anything but a sleeping giant. Volcanologists are monitoring the situation closely because, in addition to the increased seismicity, an increased gas flux has also been detected. This means that more volcanic gases are escaping from the ground than normal. These gases do not come from clearly defined sources, but from a multitude of tiny openings in the ground. This is called diffuse gas flux. At depths greater than 5 kilometers, a magma body is likely accumulating, from which these fluids and also the thermal energy originate. To better assess the situation, 
kind of volcanic traffic light system has been introduced in the Canaries. Currently, the volcanic traffic light for Tenerife is green, so there are no restrictions for residents and visitors of the island. Interestingly, the light on the neighboring island of La Palma is still yellow. The reason for this is the violent volcanic eruption that occurred there in 2021. The volcanic parameters have not fully normalized even years later. The Canary Islands are thus a hotspot for volcanic activity, and that in the truest sense of the word. The islands were formed over a so-called hot spot in the Earth's mantle. At this point, hot mantle material rises and melts the overlying oceanic crust. Over millions of years, this process created the various islands of the archipelago. The easternmost islands of Lanzarote and Fuerteventura are the oldest, while El Hierro in the west is the youngest island. A similar system can be found in Hawaii. There too, the islands were formed over a hot spot and there is also regular volcanic activity. The only difference is that the Hawaiian volcanoes are significantly more active than their Canarian cousins. Kalawea in Hawaii erupts almost constantly, while Tahiti takes significantly more time. This is because the Hawaiian hotspot is much stronger than the Canary one. Okay, but now the most important question remains. Is there going to be a volcanic eruption in Tenerife? Or can we continue to enjoy our sangria before everyone panics and cancels their Tenerife vacation? The experts from Invulcan at least give the all clear for the short and medium term future. Such seismic swarms are not as unusual for Tenerife as one might think. Since 2017, at least 118 seismic swarms and five swarm hybrid events have been recorded on the island. So Tahiti is a rather restless fellow. In fact, researchers have been observing a buildup of pressure under the volcano since 2016. Magmatic fluids are indicated in the hydrothermal system. Or to put it less scientifically, there is a lot brewing down there. Certain danger is always present. But even if it should come to that, the modern monitoring system would probably detect it in time. So the people of Tenerife have nothing to fear, and especially not that the volcano will surprise them in their sleep. So everyone can breathe a sigh of relief. The current situation in Tenerife is exciting, but there is no reason to be overly concerned. Taylor is being closely monitored, and if the situation changes, you will of course find out immediately here on the channel. So subscribe to the channel now and activate the bell so you don't miss any new videos. And speaking of exciting developments, I just uploaded a new video of an incredible discovery in the Milky Way. An international team of researchers has discovered a kind of warp tunnel there that connects two distant areas of the galaxy. Sounds like Star Trek, but it's reality. Be sure to click on the video displayed in the top right and watch it if you want to find out if you can soon zoom through the galaxy like Captain Kirk. And if you click on the bottom right, you will find another exciting topic from the depths of the cosmos or our earthly science. Every click helps the channel a lot. Thank you very much. Otherwise, I would say see you in the next video. Take care, guys, and remember, don't drink too much sangria.